Happy birthday, Everett! Welcome back, family travelers. Today, we have a super special episode. We're celebrating Everett's first birthday. Yay! He's one! We did it. I mean, he did it, but like, we did it. Yeah. We thought maybe we would talk about some of our favorite travel memories over the past year. But first, we did start by putting Olivia in the hot seat. Ooh, we'll take Some very important questions to ask you. What was your favorite part of bringing Everett home from the hospital? Um, when I met Everett. When you met Everett? Yeah. Is Everett your best friend? Yeah. He's your best friend? Yeah, and now he's my best friend and I can't be him forever. That's good news for Everett. <laughs> Here we are. We're here. Yeah, this is about to be hard for me. <laughs> Whoa! You want to see baby brother? Yeah. He's in the car. Come here. Baby <laughs> <laughs> brother. He really likes you. Yeah, he does. You can tell. Big! <laughs> tell me. It is still big. It won't be big. Hopefully, it won't be big for long. And his name is Baby Everett. That is his name. Do you remember when we brought Everett home and Olivia called him Evort for Evert. forever? Evort. That was when she would actually talk about him. Because at first, she wasn't quite as, um, how do you say, thrilled? Yeah, yeah. But since then, she's become an excellent big sister oh, and totally. even helped him on his first flight. That was when she started to kind of like get into the big sister role and she thought she was super cool because she was kind of like helping with him. Oh, and, right. And now they're best buds. On Everett's very first flight, how did you help him? How did you show him what flying was like? I took Everett how to eat a lot of snacks. And we did our safety selections. Safety selections. No you safety. The safety sucks. So what you stuff for you? Oh, about. instructions. Safety instructions. Two very yeah. important things: safety instructions and snacks. This is Everett's first flight yeah. and first time being on family on standby. We're trying to get to Texas. Three seats together, all of us on the same row for Everett's first flight. So let's see how this goes. Is that the safety instruction card? Safety first. We read it every time. This little dude slept all but maybe 10 minutes of this flight when he was eating. <laughs> he rocked this flight. So Everett's first flight. What, what else can you say? It was, you're laughing at me because you, you remember what happened, but yeah, the do. flight itself was good. Everett was perfect, <laughs> Olivia was helpful, it was a nice direct flight, everything was so great. Yeah, he slept most of it, so, yeah. you know, it wasn't, there wasn't much to report. Yeah, until we got off the plane. If you know anything about how we travel, it's basically mom takes the kids and maybe the diaper bag and maybe a backpack. Dad takes everything else, all of it, except for his cell phone, which he left on the plane. Oh, I didn't have my camera to take, or my phone to, you know, take off the cuff pictures of the kiddos, and so that was kind of a bummer. But it was also nice to not be distracted by like texts and social yeah. and stuff. So. All right, all right. We we each get three of our favorite travel memories, and that's one of Nick's. So clearly, his first flight was <laughs> a smashing success. Yes. What's yours? Definitely Japan tops the list because, I mean, that was his first international flight, his first long haul flight. Of course, exploring a new country. It was our second time there, but both Olivia and obviously Everett's first time in Japan. And it was, 
I mean, we were there for two weeks. It was crazy fun. But I really liked taking him to the bamboo forest. He was just in awe of everything. And I feel like that was the first time that he was kind of like alert enough to like really be looking at his surroundings. And he... I think that's when he first started smiling too. So he had just like the biggest grin on his face the whole time. Definitely one of the more memorable things that we've done. This little guy is just in awe of all the bamboo. Can't keep his eyes off of it. It's grass. It's bamboo. Yeah, but bamboo is a grass. Okay, well, whatever. Either way, it's good for babies in here because they can't stop staring at it. Right, mister? He didn't have a grin on his face the whole time. Did he not? No. He didn't sleep through the night. Well, he was like, still had his like, flipped nights and days so like he was ready and just wanting to go at like 2 3 in the morning mm. and we stayed in this little like airbnb and so like the walls were paper thin and so i was like well we can't just let him scream it's 3 a.m what are we gonna do so i got to get up with him and we went for a very long walk on the streets of osaka but i just kind of went you know carry out to carry out like getting a Nice drink or snack and eating the, the carry-out sushi all night long until uh, finally everyone else woke oh, yeah. up. <laughs> hey, go. where do you sleep? Do you want to go up there? I sleep right here. 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 Do you like the Hello Kitty? Yes. Olivia also had a blast in Japan. I think that might have been one of her favorite places that we went over the past year, or that she got to take Everett to. Oh, totally. What was your favorite vacation this year with Everett? Japan. Why was Japan your favorite? I saw I saw castles and and yummy soup and so Everett what it was like. Being in a different place. Yeah. After being thoroughly stuffed at the uh, market, we came over here to the Haiyan Shrine in, in Kyoto. It is such a super cool place. It's wide open. This is her kind of place. She can kind of run around. We don't have to keep holding her hand like we do in the crowded other places in the city. She had a lot of fun. She like owned those ramen noodles. Yes. Oh gosh, the ramen. Oh, I miss it so much right now. But it that was one of my favorite travel. I know this is a video about Everett, but watching Olivia try to eat those ramen noodles was uh, hysterical. With chopsticks. She's still yeah. to this day like, can we have ramen? And Everett was unfortunately too young to get to experience the fine womp, womp. Japanese cuisine. But that just means we have to go back. Olivia, which one did you like best out of Miami, Mexico, or Disney? Disney. Ah, of course you like Disney best. Why do you like Disney the best? Because I get to see all the characters. She was so proud, she was like introducing him to all the characters, like this baby brother, and so she was just so excited to bring him around. It was, it was kind of fun to watch. I know, and again, like, Disney obviously is a little bit more geared towards older kids, but a baby will just be so distracted and love looking at everything, and so 
that was fun. But for me, one of my highlights was also Disney because he went on his very first ride. Was it Dumbo or Aladdin? It was Aladdin. Aladdin so. And he had the biggest, again, the big, all my favorite moments, obviously, are when he has such a big smile on his face. But when we went on the Aladdin ride, it was like the wind was whipping through his hair. <laughs> And he was just, he was loving it. Living his best life. He was living his best life. guys are obsessed with Disney. I mean, don't get me wrong, I enjoy it and it's fun to watch, but I would much rather hang out by a pool and on the beach in Mexico. And that's where we took Everett for his first time to go get in the ocean. And that was an interesting thing at first. At first he did this thing where he's like putting his, nope. But then after he got used to it a little bit, like the sand and the beach, now he didn't want to like get out. He would just sit there and splash and splash and splash and splash mm -hmm. and splash some more. We're at the beach. And Mr. Everett is about to have his first dip in the Gulf of Mexico. It's like quicksand too. You're big, oh, oh. What do you think about that? Your feet just sink in and it's like so soft. This is my kind of sand. Oh. Oh. What do you think of the beach, Mr. Everett? Yeah, you like it out here? It's warm. You wanna put your toes in the sand? Watching babies discover sand for the first time is hilarious. I mean, they, they don't understand what it is yet, so they're just like, what is this crazy material that I've just now discovered? It's, uh, it's awesome. And then Olivia's first time was in the Mediterranean in Barcelona, mm -hmm. and she had like the stone and like cold water, so she wasn't as much about it. No, she didn't get to experience the super soft, silky sand that was Mexico. Oh my god. So we mentioned when we went to Japan, he couldn't eat any of the delicious food because, well, he wasn't eating solids at the time. He was only a couple months old. But when we went to Buenos Aires, the mm. floodgates opened and he was able to eat all kinds of food. So that was one of my favorite memories, of course, because right. all we do is eat when we travel. Spicy sausage, yeah. chimichurri, this kid yeah. ate everything. He did. But when he was eating the ice cream, I think that was the ultimate best because do you remember when you were feeding him? And that was also, I guess, maybe when he was experiencing cold for the first time. He was so. Like, he loved the flavor of it, but then he would also get this look on his face of like, oh my gosh, what is this cold thing that I'm eating? Like he had no idea what, what it was at first, but then he would taste it and enjoy the flavor of it. So oh, yeah. that was cool because we got to see him enjoy not only food from a different place, which was delicious by the way, yeah. but also ice cream for the first time. He likes it, it's just too cold. Speaking of food, it's time to go give Everett his smash cake. Now since we're in isolation all by ourselves. It's gonna be a nice, you know, Zoom meeting so the poor kid doesn't get a, a proper first birthday. But we're gonna make do, but we made a cake for him and he's just gonna get all up in it. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling he's gonna just destroy we it. We made a cake? <laughs> Why you gotta like do that to me? Or Don't Olivia and I made a cake. Rude. Anyway, we're gonna see what his first reaction was to that cake. How is it, Livy? Did we do a good job? Yeah. Does it look like professional bakers? I so it tastes like. This is Everett's smash cake right here. This is yummy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to 
birthday to you. We're going to show you some pictures of some of our favorite memories that just didn't quite make the cut for this. So make sure you stick around to watch those. And in the meantime, make sure you're subscribed for next year's adventures, because there will be some, we promise, and they're going to be awesome. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Year two. Everett's year two. Olivia's year four. <whistles> We're going to have our hands full. I suddenly feel very old. Right. We have a lot planned. We'll see if those plans happen. But for now, Enjoy some of our favorite travel memories of Everett's first year. Happy birthday, Everett! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! We love you! We love you! We love Happy you. birthday to you!